parents are celebrating after the Scottish Government officially announced the end of the intrusive name person scheme. Under the original plans, every child in Scotland was to be assigned a named person, an employee of the state, to oversee their well-being or happiness. In 2016, the Supreme Court ruled against key elements of the scheme, in a case spearheaded by the Christian Institute. Three years on, the government has now agreed to repeal the entire named person legislation. In August this year, experts tasked with making the scheme compliant with data protection law failed to produce a solution. As a result, Deputy First Minister John Swinney announced he would scrap the scheme. The mandatory named person scheme for every child, underpinned by law, will now not happen. We will withdraw our bill and repeal the relevant legislation. Instead, existing voluntary schemes that provide a point of contact for support will continue under current legal powers where councils and health boards wish to provide them and parents wish to use them. Simon Calvert, a deputy director at the Christian Institute and a spokesman for the No to Name Persons campaign, welcomed the news. Well, parents all across Scotland are going to be pleased. They're going to be relieved, actually, that the Scottish Government has finally agreed to scrap the Name Person Scheme. We and many others have been calling on them to do this for years. We've been campaigning, of course, for over five years as part of the No to Name Persons campaign. And I remember standing outside the Supreme Court in July 2016 when... when we just won that amazing victory against you know, striking down the heart of the named person scheme. And the Scottish Government's response was to issue a press release which made it out as if they'd won. And it's that denial of reality and that refusal to accept even what the Supreme Court said about it that's really caused just so much more anger about that scheme. They could have backed down years ago, but here we are. They've done the right thing. It's also worth bearing in mind there may be some local authorities in Scotland that continue to run something called an in-person scheme, but legally it will be toothless. So parents can take their advice if they want it and ignore it if they don't. And that's good news.